Okay, I think now we get into something uh, a little bit different. Um, corporate social responsibility. Everybody is supposed to be doing, and I think the question is how can we do it more efficiently as companies, and how can we actually build the trust that we are really doing what we promise. And uh, now I have an honor to give a floor to Agita Solzhenitz, who explored how could the how can the cooperation between the companies and NGOs be used to achieve better social responsibility results? Thank you, Yanis. Uh -huh. um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Agita, and my bachelor thesis topic is analysis of corporate social responsibility, corporate and NGOs, uh, a strategic partnership. Uh, so this is my table of content for the presentation, and let's start with the purpose. Uh, well, already, how Yanis mentioned, corporate social responsibility has become as a crucial part in the modern business world in terms of uh, two facts. First is that businesses need to create more sustainable business models. And second is that corporate social responsibility helps to uh, build a competitive advantage in the market. And also, according to the account communication study, uh, it was uh, examined that 90% of the consumers, when given the choice among uh, the products in the same price and quality conditions, 90% of the consumers uh, would make a purchase, uh, in fact, to the company, which are pursuing a good cause acts. And uh, therefore, uh, I'm examining the co partnerships between corporations and NGOs in Latvian market, and specifically under this corporate social responsibility implementation. Uh, therefore, my research question is, uh, what are the practices between corporations and NGOs uh, in Latvia in terms of three variables, which is partnership outcomes, value creation, and partnership risks? Uh, the key findings of academic, academic sources examined. The first of all, uh, as CSR is, has been implemented and the concept itself existing for more than 70 years now, there still hasn't been developed one uniform de definition, how it should be approached, how it should be defined, based on the fact that there is various models and examples, how can it be executed? Second is that uh, there's a continuous trend for corporate and NGO partnership, which means that the, both of these sectors are uh, increasing uh, their partnerships in terms specifically in this CSR. And also, it's quite difficult to evaluate and define whether they, these partnerships are successful and how to actually measure them, based on the fact I already mentioned that there are various models and executions how uh, it can be uh, done. And uh, for my value creation concept, which is one of the three variables, I used already developed model uh, from researcher Marianne Weber. Uh, so my methodology part, it's consisted from two segments. The first was uh, corporations in Latvia, uh, which was the top largest based on the net turnover uh, by 2016, Why 2016, the publicly available data that I could use. Uh, NGO segment, uh, well, there is, Oh, definitely a lot of NGOs. I specific, specifically use those who are listed in the Latvian NGOs uh, platform. Uh, two online-based surveys were created for each of the tar uh, and targeted for each of the segment groups uh, exclusively. Uh, however, they examined the same variables, which I will be comparing later. A data analysis. Uh, my sample size for corporate segment consisted of 500 top largest companies. Uh, the respondents who I use in my research, 62. For NGOs, 153. Uh, targeted NGOs, number for respondents, 56. Uh, about the partnership and identifications, uh, there's uh, both high percentages for uh, both corporate se uh, both uh, sample groups. 60% uh, uh, of companies identified that they have created partnership with NGOs, and 62% of NGOs uh, have created partnership or with companies, which means that there is a, a quite high existing uh, rate uh, and uh, experience in Latvia between these both segments. And uh, the main areas where these partnerships are executed, first is economical and social development, then is education, uh, culture and art development, and environmental protection. So about the results. First of all, uh, the first variable that I examined is partnership outcomes. Uh, and I looked uh, on 
this variable from two aspects, anticipated and experienced, so how corporations and NGOs, what I expect from these partnerships and what I actually gain. So uh, for the partnership outcomes, it can be seen that for both uh, segments, no, excuse me, for a corporation segment, the expectations were higher uh, than the results, which means that uh, they kind of, a, uh, they were expecting to get uh, a lot higher benefits from these partnerships uh, as they anticipated. Uh, experience. Uh, as for NGOs, their expectations yeah. were lower and uh, the value that they created uh, out of these partnerships were much higher. Uh, as for value creation, uh, this is the place where I use already existing model created by Weber, uh, which I mentioned. Uh, this part uh, kind of uh, defines uh, how corporations and NGOs value these partnerships in terms of uh, the concept, which is success. Uh, and it can be seen that both of corporations and NGOs uh, valued in these uh, mentioned five aspects, valued these partnerships as uh, not so successful as they would want to be, which means that there is a place for improvement how to uh, build the plan of the partnerships and uh, execute them. Uh, the most interesting part of my research, I would say, is uh, partnership risks. Uh, there is a significant differences uh, between anticipated and experienced risks for both uh, sample groups. Corporations uh, are, they defined quite high, I would say, risks for these partnerships, which means that they, uh, they see uh, corp uh, partnerships with NGOs as uh, quite risky. Uh, and for, but the experience risks show that they didn't uh, like experience none of these risks in such level as they expected. Uh, as for NGOs, uh, only uh, risks that was actually met the expect, uh, expectations was conflict of interests, which uh, would identify the, the fact that there should be more specifically defined uh, agenda or of the partnerships or the outcomes, what both parties want to achieve in order to avoid this conflict of uh, interest. Uh, my conclusions, uh, there are uh, existing significant differences when looking, uh, when comparing both sample groups, which is corporations and NGOs. Uh, and also, uh, when uh, examining each of the group uh, exclusively, uh, the expectations and uh, experience does not align with, it, with each other, which means that there's a different kind of perception how these partnerships actually are, uh, but based on experience, they are getting different outcomes, different success terminations, and different risks. Uh, about the three main areas. Um, well, this would be also a place for suggestions and improvements, as you can see that the risks are anticipated a lot higher uh, than they are experienced. And uh, based on this, I could suggest companies and also NGOs to switch their focus from focusing on how to um, prevent the risks and how to um, create these risks lower to the value creation part, which means that uh, for now, corporations are expecting much higher value from these partnerships, but they, if they uh, put m more focus on how to build a success and how to define what are the partnerships, what, uh, what are the goals, what they want to achieve, it would be uh, much more sophisticated and, and efficient. Uh, as, more, as for my referee questions, the first was uh, asked about uh, what are the results would be if I would uh, do this study in the Baltic and Nordic region. Uh, I would say that these uh, results would be quite similar as also the corporations and uh, NGO partnership also in these peri uh, regions are quite just new trend. Uh, about the time period after 10 years time, I would definitely believe that there will be mm, a lot higher evaluation for success part, which is outcomes and value creation, and also a lower part for uh, lower evaluation for risks based on the fact that Already now, these partnerships are uh, expanding in their practices, so this means that after 10 years, there will be more examples and real-life practices from which to learn. And, uh, and how Latvia is looking on uh, other modern economies? Well, I would say that, in, for instance, uh, comparing to Latin American countries, we are kind of lacking back because based of the 
I, I think uh, it was 2017 KPMG study which revealed that the highest CSR reporting rates for uh, was specifically for uh, Latin America region. Uh, however, when looking on uh, Europe overall, I think we're keeping up with the trend uh, as CSR is um, increasing and also in public uh, space, we're talking more about it. Companies are thinking uh, a lot more about it and also including in their strategy. So I think uh, we, in Latvia we just need to maybe put more focus and energy on that and uh, we will be maybe more uh, keeping up with the trend. So thank you. Okay, uh, thank questions. you. Yeah, question. Uh, thank you for the presentation and for, for the discoveries. Uh, how do you think, what is the area for La Telecom as a big telco in Latvia for a NGO partnership uh, here that can be evaluated uh, in our society? You mean specifically in which, uh, like, execution area? Yes, yes. Uh, well, as looking also how big corporations do and what they focus on, uh, maybe the gender in uh, equal equality could be, uh, for instance, cor cooperating with uh, NGOs that support uh, women in uh, for violence or supporting uh, educational things. Also education, I would state, as a specific and important factor as uh, for, uh, education for young people, as young people are the future of the company. So in investing in uh, developing the young people would be investing in your assets in the future. Thank you. Okay, yeah, one more question. Thank you, Agita, for a very interesting presentation. And uh, it was very interesting for you discovery that about risks, when anticipated risks are uh, much, much higher than the uh, uh, ones which are experienced. What you would suggest in general for both sides to do that the risks are not so much anticipated and they could cooperate probably much easier. Thank you for the question. Uh, I would definitely uh, say do your research and do your homework before you involve in the partnerships because uh, one of the factors that were also uh, mentioned in the risks, uh, it was government uh, governance and transparency of the NGOs. And as I checked uh, on all the websites, they uh, actually report their uh, financial reports, they report uh, their mm -hmm. Um, registration reports, so all the information about legislation is available in their uh, website. So I would say that doing the actual research and uh, getting to know your partner in these partnerships would be uh, the first thing that would uh, actually decrease these risks. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank, that's you. All. Thank you.